Hi Leo, welcome to my channel and welcome to your weekly read. We are going to dive in and find out what messages want to shine through. We're going to start with uh, we're going to start with what spirit wants you to know, career, money, finance, and we'll exit out with love. All right. So let's, without further ado, jump in. Okay. All right. Hope all is well, Leo. I hope you're doing fantastic. And if not. I hope you're going to be doing even better by the time you're through with this read. All right. <laughs> okay. Let's take a look and see what's going on. What is going on for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as your North Node. All right. Uh, thank you all for your likes, subscribes, and shares. Thank you also for those of you that have been booking uh, sessions with me, uh, whether it's through coaching or uh, spiritual sessions or reads. Uh, and then those of you that have also been uh, booking uh, um, business in my content creation uh, website that you'll see in the description box below. Uh, I do work with marketing and all of that. So if you're interested, click that guys. If not, let's just dive in. Okay. Let's take a look at your energies. I am excited. Uh, let's take a look at what's going on for Leo. Okay. What is going on for Leo? What does spirit want you to know most, uh, for Leo during this time right now? Okay. This will be some fresh energy, uh, for the week. Ooh, 10 of pentacles, Leo. I like it. Okay. We're going to read everything straight up on this. Okay. Um, what's at the bottom of the deck? A new beginning. Okay. Some of you could be already on this adventure already. Okay. Is what I'm getting. This is all about an opportunity for adventure. This is a, a beginning of a new path. This is taking chances. Okay. So let's take a look at what this might look like. Um, you maybe have gone deep within with this Virgo energy of the hermit card. So I feel that, you know, maybe that you've gone within to see some sort of uh, bigger picture in a situation. You know, he's on higher ground here. So I feel that this is an opportunity to see something from a different vantage point. Okay. So um, for some of you, that's the case. You're seeing the bigger picture regarding what it is that can help bring legacy and, and wealth, security for you and your family, for yourself as you build a family. Or what, you know, uh, this could even be an inheritance, okay? I do get that there is some sort of celebration coming together with others. Now, the three of pentacles, this is interesting because this could be teamwork and collaboration that is bringing forth this wealth. And you having, you're seeing a bigger picture about all of this. Rather than, you know, kind of doing everything on your own, you've kind of been enlightened and think, you know, wait a minute, maybe you're working with two other people or you're just working in collaboration with others. And that is what is bringing in a lot of opportunity. I think it's a new connection, new connections that you're working with, a new dynamic, so to speak. Um, let's take a look at anything more that comes through uh, and see what this is for you here. Okay. So anything more uh, for Leo? What do we get for Leo that wants to come through? What do we get? What is this? Oh my gosh, the Ten of Cups, guys. You've gone within and you're looking at what makes you happy long term, okay? So with this Ten, it talks to me about an opportunity for like this, um, it's kind of deep contentment. This is uh, love and support, okay? So you kind of know what that looks like for you there, okay? And then I get... Uh, yeah, something was it was kind of eluding you and you were kind of it's almost as if you were going through some sort of spiritual warfare on something about something that was hidden and what brings like what is going to bring in my long term happiness and you really had to be strong about this and get up and see that higher vantage point to look deep inside you here. Okay. So you really had to do a lot of spiritual work from within you to kind of do and, and, and kind of cut through, uh, dig through the dirt a little bit on something that was hidden. Okay. But I feel that something was, is, was actually brought to light about what brings this 10 of cups. Uh, you know, what, what brings that in for you? Like, what is that for you? Um, so is there anything more that wants to be said about doing that that deep introspective search. Um, I do get Virgo energy. What do I get? Yeah, there was some sort of conflict about that, okay? You had to go seek the truth for yourself, okay? But there's been an illumination because that lantern is being light. It's lit up, okay? Uh, you understood the conflict of the uh, some sort of addiction or old way of thinking, and this is uh, the devil energy, Capricorn energy and the conflict that that posed on your, your outlook of a situation. So I feel that you've seen something, it's come to light, all right? And you are now understanding, okay, 
what, 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 what is going to help me bring in my Ten of Pentacles here? Let's take a look a little bit further and see what comes through, uh, what Spirit wants you to know about this Ten of Pentacles. Uh, what comes through on this uh, for Leo? What do we get? The King of Pentacles. This could be a business owner. This could be focusing in on, um, you know, being like using your resources very wisely. This person is a strong business owner, um, knows how to make money. Okay, now this could be someone that you're dealing with, uh, King of Pentacles, or this could be you taking on that energy. Okay, and then I do get spy, some sort of spy in terms of of of, of monies. Like someone is. Someone has taken a closer look at what brings in money and can bring in success. Okay. All right. And what else do I get? What more do we get? And this is about anything is possible. I think that you are understanding what brings legacy and you've been really looking into this and there could be, I don't know if there's someone around you that is, uh, uh, letting you know that anything is possible. This is just coming from you. You've realized anything is possible. Uh, and you are, are pushing forward. Uh, you are understanding that anything is possible uh, that can bring in, uh, you know, opportunity. And I do get star seed. So this is beautiful. Some of you are a star seed here. Okay. Uh, give me anything more in terms of this legacy coming through. And it could be that you might be dealing with a boss figure in some sort of way, reminding you that anything is possible. Or when you're collaborating with others, you're realizing anything is possible. You're a star seed of this group. I'm just letting you know. You're like the spiritual uh, part of it, all right? Yeah, and it's, it, it could be like something has already have, has seen growth on it with this page of wands. Um, but this is talking about like a um, very creative person, okay? Uh, this is maybe you're starting on a new project or you're executing an, an idea, there's a creative idea that you have that you're doing and you're pushing through with it. It's bringing in opportunity. Look, at it's birthing something new, Empress Energy. Yes, guys, this is really great. This is an opportunity to birth something new. It has to do with your creativity. You're so darn creative. And it's coming out here. Like you know your value. And this is with love. It's kind of like you come together with others and you are really creating, uh, you know, something here. This is like, um, this has to do with beauty. This has to do with uh, even good parenting as well. Um, this has to do with uh, um, fertility of birthing something new that brings in some legacy. Ooh, you guys, whatever it is you're working on, it's, it's, it's really powerful. Now you come together with others and this is celebration, uh, or this could be, you know, the partnerships and coming together with others. Okay. Collaborations. Uh, you are, uh, focusing in on the circle of support with others. All right. And they're guiding, you're guiding them and they're guiding you. It's just this real good symbiotic energy is what I'm getting. For some of you, it might be work, uh, for others, it just could be, you know, friends that are around you. Uh, hermit energy is coming through, okay? So I do get Virgo, uh, yep, is coming through here, okay? Hermit coming through two times. So something about the introspection of going within, okay? And what else do I get? The freedom. But you still maintain your freedom, all right? Um, something is coming to light and is being exposed, okay? It's almost as if that you've gone that deep dive within and something has been exposed here, Okay? Um, and I, I do feel that there is a sense of freedom that you have here. Freedom is really important for you. It's like you belong in a group, but you're also very autonomically, uh, you, you still work by yourself. So you could be coming together with others in business, but you still have your own business, or you could come together with others on a project, but you still have some other project you're working on. It's something of that sort. Okay. You, you value your freedom and it's all these people seem to value theirs as well. Okay. What else do I get? Fast change in movement, messages coming through, could be from an Aries or a boss figure, someone who might carry that masculine energy. They don't necessarily have to be, uh, you know, um, you know, a, a man. Uh, this is masculine energy. And uh, females, uh, you know, regardless of your gender, you can possess masculine or feminine. But this is a strong salt. This could be a business owner. Some business owner comes through with some fast action, fast change. And what does this come through? And this is about you saying persevere, persevere. 
wanting you to persevere. Like you're exhausted, but you're persevering. <laughs> and what else? Um, yeah, you're, it's helping you transition out of whatever this was over here that caused conflict. I think you've got a new way of looking at something here, Leo. And boy, it's making, you know, long-term fulfillment. It's like there's this little sign that it says love is the answer. And this is your Ten of Cups. So whatever it is that you're doing here, it's like you're doing it with love. You're doing something that you love with people that you enjoy working with and it's just beautiful and it's a transition for you and you're working really hard at it okay is the message i'm getting through lovers yeah making a choice making a choice some of you are making a choice you're, you're getting the rest that you need and you're making a choice do i want to stay in this or am i going to go on my own you know what does this look like for me okay but you're making a choice some of you it could be um you know it, it could be love you know coming through making a choice in love and transitioning uh, for others, you're leaving an old thinking or something behind and moving forward. What is it uh, that your angel guides want you to know about this, okay? What we've picked up so far. Um, well, first, just before we do that, I want to pull one card on this here real quick. What do we want to get over here on, on this? Yeah, you've gone through some healing. You, you could still be healing right now, guys, okay? It, that's what I'm saying. Make sure you get your rest, guys. You want to know I'm saying this because... Like, this is like the life symbol for me, like part of that. And I'm feeling that it's like a health symbol. Like, I'm feeling that watch your health, okay, guys? When you persevere, make sure you're getting the rest that you need as you persevere. Because you're really tight. You need to get this because you're still at that tail end of healing for some of you. And you still need to pay attention. Like, your health is really first and foremost, okay? It's really important. Yeah, lessons, a teaching moment. You've learned something about uh, this, you know, your version of the Ten of Cups. And uh, you've let go some sort of toxicity that caused conflict in your life. And uh, you really had to go through some spiritual warfare to work beyond this, guys. And you made it. You made it. You made it. Look at this candle of light. You made it. You shined the light on all this darkness, but you saw something. And I don't know if you see something, but there's a little black dot in there. You had to go to the core of that. You really had to go to the core of that, what this was, and you had to focus in on it, shine the light on that. It's a little black dot. I don't know if you can see it, but it's really close up there. Um, but you had to run, kind of work through the you-know-what to get through here, and, and you did it. You, whatever, you did it successfully. There's a celebration here, and you've broken free out of this. I couldn't be more proud for you, Leo. I mean, seriously. Let's take a look at what your uh, angels uh, have to say for you. Any advice? Uh, this is from Spirit. Like, you were taught some sort of lesson that you won't have to repeat again uh, because it was really learned, I get. Uh, what is this? Within the next few weeks, guys. Something about within the next few weeks could be a celebration of something, okay? Meditation brings answers. If you're not there yet, you soon will be, guys, Okay? Anything more that you need to know about this? I've got to pull something else for you here, just in case, okay? Um, what else do we need to know in terms of Spirit's guidance? What do we get? Yeah, it is an adventure, isn't it? Yeah. Yep, right now, your guidance is here. Keep creating, guys, okay? You keep focusing in on your adventure. Just be in matters of the heart. Just love and continue to create, Okay? This is key. This is the communication that spirit wants you to know about. Communicate, create. Uh, this is an adventure, okay? This is something new you've never done before, what you're doing here, but you're creating your, your path here is what I'm getting, okay? So continue to create that path because uh, if some of you, you are choosing a new direction, okay? Note your comments below, guys. Let me know, all right? You're safe to do that, okay, right now, all right? So let's take a look at what's coming through in uh, career money finance, and uh, let's take a look at what that is. So it kind of came out a little bit like that in the initial spread here, but um, it's a reminder to continue to create, especially with that Empress energy. It's serving you well. And um, let's take a look at career money finance for Leo. What do we got? Ah, yeah. See, remember I said choose a new direction. Some of you are doing that, or you're looking at something in a different way. Yeah, look at this. Wow. See, choosing a new direction. You have lots of choices, right? You have lots of choices in life. And so you're choosing something, getting rid of the veil of illusion, getting rid of fantasy. You're like, Michelle, I just got, I've got so many choices. You know, I've got so many choices. I don't know which to take. Well, some have a jellyfish in it, you know, a snake. Some of them have a, 
um, a dragon in it, sometimes a wreath of success and a pile of coin. So it's just, you know, it is about using your intuition. This is, you're asked to take a look at something from a different perspective to get enlightenment with this hangman. So you really need to kind of look at something differently, flip it on its head, look at it from different angles, okay? And the reason I say that too is because you get the eight of swords, feeling like a victim and stuck. You're not. Here's what it is. Whatever situation you find yourself in in your career, you need to look at it in a different way, all right? Because you're not stuck. You are not a victim uh, of illusion and fantasy, okay? What more do we need to know about this and making your choices, okay? So you've got a lot of choices, okay? No doubt. Let's get a little bit more. And um, let's take a look what comes through. We get the moon card, the king of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and the world card. Look at this major arcana. Okay, I'll put this over here, okay? So I feel that something is hidden. You're needing to make a decision about something that is hidden right now, Pisces energy. This is about some sort of resurrection. Even though things are hidden, right, you're being asked to gather the intellect of the mind, have authority over your mind. Uh, you can use that sword to be strong and cut right through it. Look, there's very few clouds here. You're cutting right through the situation, okay? So this is about having authority of the mind to cut through what has been perhaps keeping you up at night, okay? Because when you do that, this is at the bottom of the deck, what was keeping you up? It's come to fruition. You're no longer going to stay up at night. You found the solution. Some of you has to do with your health. I just got to bring that up. I mean, pay attention to your health and make sure you're getting the rest, even the health, the mental health, guys, because victory, success is right around the corner for you, okay, is what this is letting you know. Achievement, success. I mean, really, guys, this is celebration. And we got the three of cups, you know, uh, previously. So what's been keeping you up at night is coming to fruition. It's about having authority of your mind to balance. This is the eight of swords, and then this was the nine of swords. It's coming to an end. Now what? I have authority of the mind. So in your career, money, and finance, this is saying take control of the mind. If you try to see yourself going down that rabbit hole, stop yourself and, you know, exit, you know, stage right and move it the other way. Think the opposite of that, okay? Um, you know, if, if it's something that's more of a, a, a negative or on a default that doesn't serve you, a default mechanism that's, you know, subconsciously it's not serving you. It's time to take authority over that is what this is saying, Okay. Um, I do get that when you do that and you start looking for different ways, uh, you know, to bring in, you know, this balance for yourself, okay, uh, this authority over your mind, that there is a successful completion, okay, a successful completion here with the world card. You can close that part out. So with that in mind, then what, okay? So with that in mind, harnessing and changing and shifting the mind, I mean, authority over your mind, then what? What else do we get? What do we get? The Queen of Pentacles. Watch your resources, being attentive to that. Something that you do is uh, humanitarian in some sort of way. Okay, and then six, eight of cups. Ooh, so this is, maybe you're, you're withdrawing and you're retreating and abandoning something, abandoning an old way of thinking. There's a completion that is you're abandoning an old way of thinking. And this changing of uh, having authority over your mind is saying there's enough food for all. There's enough, there's enough wealth for all. There's enough. Uh, this is a humanitarian aspect. Something about what you are doing is for greater humanity. And you need to see something differently. Um, you could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo helping you out. Or this is you being very resourceful with your money. What do we need to know about the Queen of Pentacles here? The Queen of Pentacles is the Seven of Pentacles. So this could be um, this could be talking about like work that is um, this is like um, this is delayed some sort of like delayed success, delayed success. Like you're waiting for something. Your patience and hard work. Um, you're waiting for it to come to fruition. Okay. And what else do I get? Cutting the cords. Cutting the cords from an old way of thinking. New resurrection. Cutting the cords of the past. And what do I get? The four of wands. Yes, guys. Oh my gosh. This is happiness, celebration, 
Um, this is an opportunity for like, this is family, friends, reunions, homecoming. Some of you could be going back home. Uh, or maybe you're cutting the cords of an old way of thinking when you were young. And it, and, and for, but what is this coming through here? I don't know why that's coming through like that. Um, why are we getting um, career money finance that coming through? Uh, four of Wands. Some of you have a new beginning and you might be, uh, you have a psychic knowing of this new beginning uh, and you're in gratitude. And it could be about, there's some sort of new growth. You cut the cords from something and, it, and there's new growth. Some of you could be moving, okay? It might, might have to move, you might have to move for this new opportunity, okay? I'm just saying it's coming through here, all right? All right, anything more in career money and finance that we get? You're just, you're gonna be in gratitude. You could be dealing with a mother figure of some sort, helping you in this some sort of way. What more do we need to know career money finance? You've been enlightened. Uh, you've got, you look at Ace of Cups, a new opportunity. And of what used to be obscure, what was obscure is now what? You're being asked to live the life that you're to live. You've been enlightened, you guys, in some sort of way. There's a sense of enlightenment. And with this Ace of Cups, it tells me that there's a new relationship or a new opportunity. This could even be proposal or marriage, by the way. I'm just saying. But there's a new opportunity. It's, you know, you've had this new enlightenment. So this new opportunity in career money finance comes through. It was once obscured. Right? You couldn't see it amongst everything, but this is saying it was really all about you living the life that you want to live the life because life is, uh, you know, uh, don't waste time. You are here to live a life of abundance and prosperity. And what else do I get? The Empress energy. You're very creative. This creative card keeps coming up, guys. This Empress energy is all about the creativity, focused creativity. This is, uh, you know, being able to uh, uh, focus in on um, fertility of birthing something new, of abundance. This is, uh, yeah, a really good, uh, yeah, something of the sort. You're birthing something new. A new opportunity in career field that finally balances something out. Where before that you would just like let things happen. And, and this is about you no longer are you that child. You are stepping out into this empress and you're living the life that you're meant to live here, okay? Uh, any uh, other information that is important uh, for uh, Leo to be aware of in this? What do we get? What do we get? Integrate the mystery with the renewal. So what it wants you to do is to uh, integrate the mystery, the spiritual side of yourself in this renewal. And then the next card I got to show you guys is Earth. So you, this renewal is putting something on strong, solid ground, the spiritual realm, the earthly realm in your renewal, and you need to integrate both of those. And that's what's going to be your key to success in career, money, and finance. Integrate that. Remember, you had all those choices there, okay? Now, um, let's go ahead and take a look at your love life, okay? I spent a little bit of time on that one, so I'll have to rush, jump in on this one here, okay? But I had to get through something here because something. sometimes it's all a lot of work and a subtle message. And sometimes it is a, a less work and a big message. This was the former. A lot of work and that subtle message that makes a big difference. All right. And that's what it is in career, money, and finance. So if we go into your love life, let's take a look at what that is. For Leo and love, new passion, new opportunity, guys. You've got a new way of looking at love and how you're planning to move forward in love. All right. It's not like it was before. All right. Yeah, you've got a new vision. And so like, like here's your love life and it's kind of like, this is what I want. Like yeah, some of you could be starting over within that, uh, but you have new foresight, all right? You I mean, there's mountains there. You know that there could be some challenges, but yeah, that's, you know, that's life and there are, that's included, okay, with the good stuff, um, you know, and, um, but this is having foresight, all right? And, and you've got new inspiration for this. Like the universe is giving you a new opportunity in love. Uh, it could be, I'm getting earth energy and fire, okay? And it's about being, you know, balanced, you know, it, balancing something out. Someone could be helping you out here, okay? Or you're helping someone out, but this is about the scales are being balanced. Like this new inspiration is about love being balanced. What else do we have? New inspiration has you really thinking, like you're getting the rest and uh, you know what that disappointed you in the past and you know what a good, you know, what a real good love offer looks like. 
uh, and uh, because you have taken the rest to focus on what didn't work to use these two cups wisely, okay? Uh, you know, before it was clouded. This is that illusion coming through, right? And you've rid of the illusion, remember? Integrating mystery with earth, right? And that is what is going to bring in that, uh, that beautiful renewal, right? Uh, but I get here that, uh, yeah, what was, uh, you are, are focusing on getting the rest, and that's why you've got new inspiration coming through, okay? Anything more? There's that balancing out. You want something that's balanced, guys. It's not always going to be 50-50, but again, something that, you know, that has, someone who's got the same vision or a little bit, you have to be kind of on the same path, you know, in goals and values and such, you know? So uh, one person can't want a relationship and the other one not. So it could be dealing with a, uh, uh, this could be you with this fire energy, or you could be dealing with another business entrepreneur who's very charismatic, okay? Or even a Taurus Capricorn or Virgo, okay? Yeah, Knight of Pentacles, yeah, a lot of earth energy. You're moving very slow. You're moving slow, which is great, because slow and strong, ooh, that's good. That is good foundation. And King of Pentacles, yep, you could be dealing with, you guys, uh, Taurus Capricorn or Virgo energy. On this new beginning, it could be a boss figure. Ooh, and Hierophant energy? That's Taurus energy. Could be a, a teacher and a leader. Like you're, it could be, yeah, I don't know, a teacher and a leader and business owner. You could be, I don't know, uh, this is interesting. Taurus energy, and what else do I get? Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Wow. This is about fairness, wanting fairness in a situation, being very perceptive, having that Hierophant energy. You're like a, like a spiritual leader and a business leader. You could be both, but this, I almost feel that you could be coming together with a business owner as you're starting some sort of new beginning here. What more do we need to know about this? Give me a card on this uh, King of Pentacles. This person is fly. <laughs> you might meet them on a trip though as well okay maybe in the midst of making some sort of move uh like it showed up in your career okay and then we get the two card which is the high priestess energy so this is about you you're going to use your intuition regarding love in terms of making movements and this is about taking inspired action someone's going to take inspired action towards you i get a king of pentacles and I do get Taurus energy or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Interesting. There's a new beginning. Give me more on this. All right. Let's just go through this. Okay. All I know is that you've got, you're ready for this new beginning. There's a new opportunity. Give me a page of pentacles. What is this page of pentacles? This is you're on a new beginning. You, you, you have gone through some sort of liberation and you're in a transition. Okay. And what else? You put something to an end and you're not going to be seduced. It's like you're going to be using your, your intuition. Like you're not going to be caught in a third-party interference because I think that you can sense and suss that out. Quite frankly, Leo, what else do I get? Yeah, that was outdated thinking, okay? That was outdated thinking. You've shifted and changed. Now you teach about this in some sort of way. You're ascending. You're teaching about ascending because you've transcended your obstacles, you are learning expansion, and some of you are you're preparing for union with someone, okay? Let's take a look a little bit more. What comes through? Uh, anything more uh, that comes through on this spread? What do we get? You're above the emotions. You're not deep into that. You've meditated. You know the importance that that keeps you. And uh, the Fool card, you're on a brand new beginning. It's coming out. You're on a new adventure in love. Some of you, you're just on a brand new adventure in love, and you're moving forward passionately. I think you're much stronger that you can handle the energy in terms of moving forward. Yeah, there's going to be an opportunity. Look at this as the three of cups. Hmm, coming together with others. Anything more in, in love that comes through? Anything more in love? Single Leos. Single Leos have success because they got the clarity that they needed and they're ready to move forward. Singles got the clarity that they needed, had success. And achievement in their work and now they're balancing out the they're balancing out their uh, what they want in love and going for it couples in, in for Leo uh, there's gonna be there's an opportunity to express love for long-term happiness and it wants you to stand your ground on what you want uh, for the balance there's gonna be a love opera there's uh, there's an expression of love for couples that leads to long-term happiness 
stand your ground in this, okay? On whatever what you might want here, have faith in this, okay? Have faith that you can bring in the balance, Sagittarius, that you deserve. So, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I, I, I think on both aspects, there's a sense of justice that comes into play, Libra energy for both. It's about assuring that uh, what you want wants you. And once you know what you want, then what attracts towards you is that. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. If you're looking for a personal, click the link in the description box below. And until next time, namaste.